With the NHL playoffs on break until Sunday, let's take a video to recap the heroics of this year's IIHF tournament, which wrapped up this past week. We'll start with the biggest and my favorite storyline of the tournament, Team Latvia and their road to a bronze medal. The first medal for the country in international hockey in men's or women's play, so congratulations to the Latvians. It all started after they made it through the group stage and drew Sweden in the quarters. In the game against the Swedes, they were tied in the third. When Mix and Drossi rips a beauty into the back of the net after going between the legs of the defender. That would give them the 2-1 lead. They would add another and win their first ever trip to the semis and their shot to compete for a medal. In the semis, they drew Canada. In that game, Latvia did jump ahead 2-1 after 40, but the Canadians roared back in the third with three of their own, taking it 4-2, sending Latvia to the bronze game. They came out ready to go as they got on the board first on the power play. A nasty pass of brotherly love, Burkharts to Burkharts, and it's back of the net, one nothing Latvia. Then, Rocco Grimaldi places a perfect shot to get them back even. But Latvia fights back and after a dirty dangle, my guy Jax the garbage man comes in, sweeps the puck in. Latvia back on top 2-1. However, the States would tie it again on the power play as Grimaldi claps one in to tie it up. Even Steven going into the second. The next lead change would favor the USA as they'd go up 3-2 in the third. But Latvia had 13 minutes left. They kept hustling and with just over five to go, they worked the puck to Rubens who just blasts one. The hockey gods were smiling on him. Takes a lucky bounce under the leg of the defender and over the leg of the goalie into the net. Game tied, we're headed to OT. Then, at 10 minutes out of the frame, Kaspers Dogovins rushes in, tries to center the puck, it goes off the defender's skate right into the slot, and bang! Rubens, who had just tied it up, slaps the loose puck into the net. Latvia wins 4-3 in overtime, and the boys are just losing it. This made me so happy. You love to see countries find success at hockey you haven't before, and honestly, I love to see some of the countries that we don't consider the perennial superpowers finding success. So many great great moments of celebration after this one. The celebration itself was great. There's that shot of the one Latvian player skating around, holding his head in disbelief. And of course, the captain, Dogovins, banging on the glass for the crowd. A crowd who was loving it. Lots of Latvian fans at this one. Riga, the capital of Latvia, was actually a co-host of the tournament and boy oh boy, were they ready to welcome the boys home. The next day, as pictures and videos started going viral, a crowd of purportedly 50,000 people showed up to welcome the Latvian team home after a hard-fought tournament. Let's go Latvia. That's how you do it. Live music, a day off of work as a holiday was announced and just an awesome way to celebrate the sport we all love. And it just reminds me as someone who does watch hockey and think about hockey sometimes from a North American viewpoint that there are countries like Latvia where hockey is the most popular sport. But back to the tournament, we saw Canada take on Germany for the gold medal. After trading goals in the first and second periods, Canada would grab two in the third and pull away four two, finally adding an empty net to take the gold. A good job by Canada rising up through the grease that plagued the start of the tournament to end up on top. Unfortunately, there was no reported parade or event for the Canadian crew after this point. Guess the boys just got the quickest fight to Montreal to get on some poutine, greasy hot dogs, and maybe a few brews. Did you jump aboard the Latvian bandwagon for this one? Let us know down below.